this movie as a strong main character, a young woman who struggles for her rights in an old male world. In your opinion, is her story relevant in showing the past in order to explain the present, especially the female condition today? Hmm. That is a great question. Yeah, I think it, you know, it's important to always, I think it's important to discuss how, uh, what, you know, where women were coming from to, in order to continue to, to move uh, history, to move that history forward and to shed uh, all of that, uh, all, all of that history, to shed all of that history. Um, but I think that there are so, there's still so many parallels and so many things that I could relate with uh, from a woman uh, of this time. Um, of course, you know, I think, you know, the mannerisms and everything was very, very different. Where she's coming from was still very distinctive, which was exciting for me to, because it was just amazing embodying this character who had to be so conscious about what she said, how she dressed, what she wore, how she moved, um, and then to be able to play like the rebellion and the shedding of was so empowering to me. Um. You played so many powerful uh, uh, and controversial female characters uh, throughout your career. Which one do you like most? And where do you collocate the video click of Barbara Nicole among them? Oh gosh. Um, I, 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 love, I, I love every character that I play because uh, it's a different point of view. Although, it, and even though it's a different point of view, there's still, um, so I, 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 I propose, I, I put so much of myself into every character, so many different aspects of myself, so I'm constantly, it, it's a really great um, observation of self in some ways, so I'm, I'm learning about myself through the development of these characters, and I learn so much from, I learn a lot from Barbara, I, I found, I have a newfound confidence um, after playing this character because the, her journey is is so is so relatable to me from blossoming uh, in this kind of sense in this kind of blossoming sense uh, of feeling you know quite inhibited to uh, empowered and, and, and that I really, I, I found more space for myself in that, uh, in that process. We are all good stories in the end. What lessons could the audience learn from that true story about love, loss, grief, stubbornness and wine? Um, what I really take away from the film is how uh, th this universal aspect of how creation has the ability to transform our lives and to and to heal uh, from trauma um, and so that is a strange I think uh, a strange thing to learn from a film about wine but Barb's um, intention I think was always to make something beautiful but I think what she you know what she attempted to do and she succeeded was was turning her heartbreak into stars your husband in the movie says she's my partner in everything about Barb Nicole uh, do you think that sometimes we need someone who believes in us for growing up and finding ourselves yes yes I think um, Barb, uh, her husband in this story, is her first kind of mentor and he, he shares with her his vision and she assimilates to that vision but it isn't until he, she loses him that she truly discovers her own talent and her own point of view um, and I think that that is interesting. I, I found that journey to be re to be one that's interesting. And then she kind of has a second mentor, but they have a different relationship. 
Um, I, I think, you know, it's important to be seen and to feel seen and, and, and that kind of, in some ways, I think, especially when you're young, it gives you the permission to explore different aspects of yourself. And then, and then I think you have to go and you have to do it on your own. You have to hold your own hand and you have to dare to do the things that scare you. Thank you, Ali. Thank you.